so pumped to be with you here today. So pumped about our series, Good Amy, and super excited that you're the guest judge on RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under. It's bananas. Crazy. It is bananas. I have some questions for you. Okay, hit me. Uh, what drew you into Good Amy, and what is it about the story that you feel needs to be told? Um, well, first of all, um, I was drawn in because the character, the lead character was transgender, mm -hmm. um, so it was very relatable. Um, and I guess, you know, Lurangi is a, a pretty accurate representation of what it can be like to be a transgender person, and um, I think it's really important to put out to the world. Um, and yeah, just other themes, you know, that I relate to most is, you know, that power and returning home mm -hmm. and healing and mending our relationships and you know, all that family stuff, that really important stuff. Um, so yeah. Because you're from a small town as well. I am, I am. So, yeah, so it was Cass, so um, yeah, it was really relatable. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, what's it been like working on the show? I mean, I've got to observe you working on it, which would be amazing, but I'd love to hear what's been like working with such a diverse cast and crew in front of the camera, behind the camera, a lot of gym diverse people in front of the camera, behind the camera. Yeah. What's that been like for you? I mean, I don't have anything to compare it to, Max, because it's not very <laughs> but, I mean, whoops. Um, one of my first, you know, gigs. Um, but, I mean, I, I, I imagine it would be very much like being with just sustained people, but, yeah. um, you know, there's definitely that sense of extra support and, and understanding, I guess, yeah. and um, just, yeah, more freedom to maybe be myself yeah. and yeah, just having a range, yeah, cis, you know, uh, transgender, non-binary, all of it, yeah, the whole shebang, it's, it's great. It's, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's really cool, yeah. Um, and, yeah, you, you, Me. you are making history as um, a, a trans indigenous leading man of film and television. Yeah. Um, it's been incredible to kind of witness that. But what, what does that mean to you? I mean, I, I mean, I feel very proud to be, you know, a part of both of these minorities or groups. Mm -hmm. um, that makes me unique, and um, I think it's awesome. But it also doesn't define me as a whole. Mm -hmm. So, no, I'm, I'm just really proud to represent New Zealand, to yeah. be honest, and and come from a small town and represent that. You know, little area of the world. It's this tiny little place that's Hokianga, the mighty Hokianga. Hokianga. Um, so yeah, that's that's what that means for me. But yeah, I am proud to represent the Maori and, and being trans and being cute. Yeah. So cool. Awesome, bro. Um, what do you want viewers to take away from Rudang when they see it? A, a sense of connection. Mm. You know, a sense that they they relate to it in some way. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just, yeah, I just hope that people, you know, can um, feel or see or hear something that they've experienced themselves in their lives, and, and just, just, yeah, even if it's just something small to take away from, or yeah, or, or learn something, or um, I don't know. Just, mm -hmm. I just hope people enjoy it. I hope people have a laugh. I hope people, I hope people cry. I hope, I hope people feel something. Yeah, yeah, yeah great. That's, that's the big thing. Just yeah, feel it. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I mean, the, the series is a lot of it's about healing. So mm. we're going to be, you know, I hope that people yeah. Yeah, yeah. take away a sense of healing. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm a massive Drag Race fan. Are you a Drag Race fan? Yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I am now. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm new to the whole Drag yeah. World, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Um, I, I was so blown away by. I mean, I went in with no expectations, but it was it was amazing. Like just seeing men and, and women yeah. embrace their inner queens. Like I think <laughs> that's so cool. I, f I feel like I could do that. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah. Do you, I mean, do you, you've been you've been watching um, mm -hmm. since F one dropped. Oh, yeah. What are some of the sort of standout moments for you from the show? What are some of your favorite moments that you've seen so far? Um, and are you torn? Because this is a big rivalry. It's like New Zealand queens, Aussie queens. There's a real historical rivalry there. So I feel quite torn when I'm talking about the show. Nah, I'm not torn. I <laughs> just have my my favourites, and I don't care what country they're from. Okay, so who's your favourites? 
Um, actually, that's <laughs> my favorite is actually Anita Woodlip. Well, wow. and I also love Karen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing, so, great. Uh, but they're all incredible, and you know, I know it's competition, mm-hmm. but I hope they all, you know, go home as being like winners because mm-hmm. um, they're just um, they're amazing. Yeah. yeah, they're really talented. And just yeah, way to go. Um, you are you're making history again. It's the second time in one day. You're making history being the first guest judge on the first ever season of Drag Race Down Under. What does that feel like? I don't know, I'm a, I mean, <laughs> I, also I didn't realise how good RuPaul's Drag Race was. Um, yeah, it's just I feel really lucky. And, yeah. Um, yeah, what a cool opportunity and experience. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, just just an honour. Yeah. Just thankful, yeah. Way to go. Um, and what are some of the lasting impressions that the Down Under Queens have left on you? Like, how do you think sort of being part of their world has maybe yeah. changed you? Um, I don't know. I think I was really impressed by how skilled they were. Mm. You know, like, it's more than just makeup and, and mm. costumes. It's, I mean, the comedians, the they're singers, they're, they're, they're artists, they're entertainers, mm. they're, they're performers. And that's it's more than just that. And, I think that's incredible and they're really flexible. That's one thing I noticed, they're really flexible. Uh, they can do crazy things. Well, just as, I mean, you're you're an entertainer, right? You're, you're an actor and, a, and I think for all of us in the, in the industry, you've seen that incredible range yeah. of talent and artistry, you know, how one person has to be so many things to be yeah. the amazing drag queen. That's one of the yeah. things that I'm always taking away. I'm, I'm really impressed. Yeah. Uh, um, what or why? Um, why do you think fans of RuPaul's Drag Race should tune into our series, you know what I mean? Um, because it's it's funny, it's powerful, it's it's relatable, it's um, it's different, mm-hmm. you know, it's um, it's real, it's it's really raw. I mean, mm-hmm. it's just words that are coming mm-hmm. to me, but um, I just think yeah, everyone needs to see it, you know, with with your trans or not. It's it, it speaks for all of us. It's it's about it's about love in different forms, mm-hmm. friendships, family. Um, it's about healing. It's about that wanting to be accepted, mm-hmm. which I think we can all all relate to. Um, yeah. You know, it's, it's you got the city life, you got you got the rural country life. Mm-hmm. There's, there's so many things. Um, there's being Maori. There's yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, that need to be accepted, right? I mean, that's yeah. such like. A sort of powerful, you know, finding acceptance of the powerful core of like being queer and the queer community and that's the drag race world. And yeah, I think you're totally right. That's kind of the, the big you know, overlap for fans of drag race. It's like yeah. seeing this other version of that story of acceptance. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, lastly, lastly, um, how is it you think that the series director of Rue Me um, ended up on RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under in his underwear and you got to be on the judges panel? Like, what? How's, isn't that just a crazy thing? Like coincidence? Either something went really wrong or something went really right. Something went really right. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, I don't know. I think Finn and Bailey and friends uh, may be able to shed some light on them. Yeah. Anyway, Alice, awesome, awesome having you today. Thank you for having me. Love you. And um, yeah.